Hey guys, so the city that I live in, it's uh, basically like a l island and it's surrounded by water. So as you can see behind me, these are like a l wetlands and then in the corner there is actually the airport. So it's called Vancouver International Airport, but it's actually not in Vancouver. It's in a city called Richmond and uh, it's lots of greeneries. That's why I think I like the videos when I watch for uh, Indonesia and there's lots of uh, greenery. It just reminds me of, you know, our city because well, there's lots of greeneries as you can see all around. So now we're going to head towards Vancouver and I'll show you guys a little bit of there too. This is uh, Vancouver, it's the beach and uh, it's pretty empty right now I guess because of uh, Corona and also the fact that it's a bit cold. At the back here, I don't know if you guys can see right there. Is a downtown which inshallah we're gonna head towards and then on the other side of the water is uh, they call it north vancouver as well as west vancouver so the cool thing about here is like in the suburbs of vancouver there are certain cities and they have like a uh, larger population of certain uh, certain uh, ethnicities so for example the city that i live in like richmond there's more asians so for example people of chinese descent and japanese and uh, North Vancouver, which I'll try to see if we can go there, they have a lot of Iranians. And then Surrey, which is another city, there's a lot of South Asians, like for example, Indians that live there. So each of these cities, when you go in, you can buy, find different products as well as different restaurants, which is kind of really, really cool. All right, guys, it's a little bit uh, hard for you guys to see me because it's a bit uh, dark. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys the skyline of downtown Vancouver. So this is downtown Vancouver and the park across from it, which is called Stanley Park. Um, this building that you're looking at that has these uh, different colors, uh, flags kind of, this is actually for cruise ships. And then the blue tower, that's a revolving restaurant. Um, and uh, the rest are like basically uh, business uh, towers. And today it's a little bit cloudy and it's raining, but Moshallah is really, really beautiful. Okay, so that side of the water is North Vancouver, as I was mentioning to you guys earlier. So this park basically goes between downtown Vancouver to North and uh, West Vancouver. And looks really really nice mashallah tonight especially because it is uh, raining it's a little bit foggy slash cloudy and this bridge is really really beautiful I think this is at least 70 to maybe 80 or 100 years. this is uh, the top of the bridge guys that just crosses and as you can see it's raining we're gonna find a way and and cross and head towards the other side. Alright guys, made it to North Vancouver. This is the place that I was saying that uh, has lots of Iranian uh, stores. So you can see this is an exchange place. And I was gonna just show you guys the, the writing in here. They had it Farsi. There you go. Maybe you can see it better from here. And it's uh, pretty cool, you know, and uh, they have lots of halal places too. So we decided to come here. This place is called Haida Sandwich. So I'm gonna head uh, there before they close. Grab something you can see here. Halal open. Gonna get some food in here. Everything on the menu is halal. They got burgers, appetizers, sandwiches. And this is really cool because they got uh, like Iranian music playing in the background. And I got, I think, like hot cheese sausage. And they got some specialty drinks too. So you can see here, I think they have like Iranian drinks. One of my favorites is this one. I'm not sure if you guys have ever tried it. It's basically um, yogurt with water, like a salt and, and that's it. So now I'm just waiting for the food. And I was gonna show you guys here too. You can see the writing on the wall. You see? Uh, I'm not sure actually in Indonesian, or Indonesians, if, if they use the um, Arabic alphabet. I know in, in Malaysia, because I watched one of the previous videos, and they had the same alphabet, and they're saying they use it. So I think for them, they might be able to read it. Because in, in Farsi, 
we use the same uh, alphabets as Arabic. And here you guys can see too. See the TV there? They have the writings in Farsi. And even here too. So they have it in, in Farsi, which is really, really cool. You know, uh, for uh, Afghans, for example, coming here to North Vancouver, it's a little bit easier because we basically uh, speak the same language. So it makes uh, life easier. And like I said, you know, for people who live in this area, it's nice because you can come to North Vancouver and get some Iranian cuisine. You can go to Richmond and get, for example, Chinese uh, or Japanese. And then you can go to Surrey and you can get like Indian food, Pakistani food, and like South Asian. So it's, it's nice. And they're not too far from each other. Maybe like, you know, uh, half an hour max, maybe like 45 minute drive. And uh, you get to swallow, try different food in one country, but you know, by just driving 15, 20 minutes, you can get to experience another part of the world. So uh, now I'm just uh, basically waiting. So order, she said it's gonna probably take about six to seven minutes. So it's just a waiting game. Uh, gonna get the food, it's hungry. It's almost close to 11 at night. So we're gonna have a late dinner and uh, I'll review it and show you guys how it is too. So can't wait to get the food. While we wait guys, let's uh, react to Real Madrid and I don't know who they're playing. So I think it's Real Madrid, it's 2-0, uh, close to the uh, 95 minute or 90 minute mark. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, kicked him out. Intense game, Bane Sport HD. Look at this goal. Oh. He was trying to beat up the goalie. <laughs> I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me or not because the music is a bit loud. Just uh, wanted to do a little bit of quick uh, soccer <laughs> reaction while I wait for them. So just got the food. It's huge. These sandwiches. It's a little bit awkward because we're in a car. It's warm. It has, it's on a white baguette and sandwich bread basically. And it has beef sausage, I think, with uh, cheese, and then a ton of veggies. So uh, they got lettuce, tomato. That's all I can see. And the cool thing is, you know those potato sticks? They put those potato sticks inside the sandwich too. I'm gonna move my head so that way you can focus on the sandwich. There you go. And then they give you fries with a combo too. And some sauces on the side. I don't know what the sauce is. Mm. I think it's like mayo and chipotle mixed. So one side is mayo, another is a chipotle, but the chipotle is really strong. The taste of it is like really, really smoky. Mm. Seems like they just put a hot dog in there. At least that's what it's looked like. It looks like. And it's so big, it's hard to bite it. I'm getting messy. I give you hot sauce too. I think hot sauce is going to be too much. This, see these potato sticks? They put like a handful of those inside the sandwich, which is cool. I just wish the sandwich was a little bit smaller because it's so hard to bite it. I hope you guys like the scenery of Vancouver. At nighttime, it looks really beautiful. Um, only thing was just, it's a bit dark. 
and it's raining so I can't really go outside too much. So I tried to show you guys what I thought is unique about Vancouver. One, and then two, uh, basically what I could get to at nighttime and in the rainy weather. Looks like they have mushroom too. So far I've seen mushroom, lettuce, tomato, cheese, potato sticks, hot dogs. I should have known because the name of it was um, cheese sausage. But for some reason, I don't know, I was thinking more of like uh, sandwich meat, you know, like those cold cuts. And the veggies are really nice and fresh. And the mayo it's good but the tomato goes really well the only tough part like I said is just eating it because it's just so awkward hmm. because it's so big it gets pretty messy when you eat it then Thank you. And that's the thing that I have the hardest time with when I eat food, if it's messy. Sometimes, subhanAllah, if I find um, a food to be too messy, I won't eat it. I'll just say I'm full, <laughs> just because I don't want to deal with all the mess and everything. Especially if you're a guest at somebody's house. There you have to sit and be like, so it's not worth it. Ah, I ate at home. And then as soon as you go home, you start eating everything. <laughs> oh, I like it guys. A really flavorful. You got cheese, meat, veggies, potato steak, and then fries on the side. Can't really complain. <clears throat> My daughter is getting tired. I don't think she's going to let me uh, continue on. So I think I'm going to wrap it here. I hope you guys liked um, the little scenery of Vancouver as well as my review of Haida sandwich. Almost done, baby. Almost done. Let's see. She's. I think she's getting me to wrap it up even quicker. So if you guys liked it, Press like, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to uh, recommend for me to check out another video, please put it in the comment section. As always, thank you very much, guys, for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.